Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this is just another, uh, probably the last follow-up um, for the uh, X1 Carbon 6 Gen FreeBSD videos that I'm putting together. Um, just, uh, you know, I'm just sharing my experience with this laptop and FreeBSD because I, I know how frustrating it is when you buy something and you're trying to, you're trying to find all the answers in the forums and you're harassing people on Reddit to try and get information to find out how things work and it's just, um, it becomes a real headache. It's really frustrating. So I figure, you know, I'll just put this out there, and then you know that way, if somebody somebody Google's something or YouTube something, um, they'll find uh, my experience, and maybe that will help. So I, uh, as I said before, the um, the graphics works great with DRM Next K mod um, on this laptop. Everything everything worked as soon as I installed the package um, from ports, or I, I installed the port. Um, I could I could boot straight into I load up X straight away. It worked. I didn't realize though that it was actually um, it was actually running on the Visa driver because I hadn't installed the Intel driver at the time. You do need to install it. Um, and the the reason why I found this out, I mean, it was getting I was having great performance with the laptop um, in X on the Visa driver, but when I went to play a movie. Um, I was getting terrible screen tearing and I was like, what the hell's going on? So I looked into it and then it was, uh, it turned out I wasn't using the Intel driver at all. So I installed the Intel driver and then I, um, I, uh, yeah, so once I, once I finally got that up and running, videos were playing smoothly, but then I noticed a, a massive decline in the performance, uh, of X, like it was just running really slow. So I'm just going to show you the settings that I found were optimal for me, um, I'll, uh, so first of all, by the way, I had to turn off Compton because um, for some reason, if I have Compton enabled, actually, I'll, I'll just show you. Um, you'll see these terrible flickers in the video. Um, you, I can't. I don't know if you can see them right now, but you probably um, you probably can see it. So I had to. I couldn't, I, I don't know why it does that with the Intel driver, but um, for some reason when I'm doing screencasts, I have to kill Compton. Um, frustrating. If someone can tell me why that is, that'd be awesome. Um, so, first of all, after you install your, um, after you install the DRM Next K mod package or port, you want to just add this to your um, rc.conf, which just, um, which enables the um, which loads the kernel module. The um, it's you have to put in the directory where it is. Which it, it installs it to boot mod boot slash modules. Um, that's it for that. Then in um, in loader.conf, I added these three lines down here. There are a couple of different DRM options that you can add. Um, at, uh, at boot time, and I found some of them actually massively decreased performance, so I took them out. These three, I found that if I if I've got them enabled as they are now, the performance is great. If I take or if I subtract them, um, if I if I disable them, um, performance is terrible. Um, I don't fully understand what these do. I'll be honest, but all I know is that they make a huge difference to the way the um, the the way the X runs. This is frame buffer compression, really important as well. I found that if I if I don't have them enabled, then um, yeah, it just it runs really sluggish. So that's for, that's loader.conf. Um, then if you're going to, so I tried it with mode setting as well. Terrible performance and screen tearing. So what I ended up doing was, as I said, I installed the drive, the Intel driver, and these are the options that I set. Um, DRI three. Excel uh, method SNA. I tried the other ones. I think it was UXA and Glamour. Terrible performance. Um, very slow and and tear-free. True. Um, if you do use the Intel driver on this laptop, you'll have to you'll you'll have to explicitly um, set the this section here, the section screen, um, and the resolution, the mode. Because if you don't, it ends up coming out like uh, I think it was like 800 by 600. It was some huge, uh, some really low resolution um, by default. It doesn't detect it. Don't know why. Um, but so you need to put this in here. I found that by doing all this, I'm just trying to think what else I had to do. Um, I, I also had to. I, I manually set the DPI. So XFT DPI. Um, what else? Rofi DPI. Uh, I believe 
polybar, also set the polybar DPI to 220. Here it is, DPI equals 220. Um, what else? The so I'm flying through this, but um, also set these for QT and um, GTK um, for the for the DPI as well. I found that by doing this, honestly, the um, I don't know if the screencast is doing it justice, but the um, the screen it, it it's really sharp. Like it almost one of the reasons why um, you know, when my when my wife bought a, a Mac laptop a few months ago, I was like, man, that the sharpness of those retina uh, retina displays is just amazing. You know, it looks so crisp. I was like, God, if I could get my FreeBSD desktop looking like that. The thing about the X1 Carbon is it's not quite as good as a Retina, but it's if you can get the DPI settings right, it, it looks so beautiful. And um, I know that the screencast probably isn't doing it justice, but it's it looks amazing right now. Um, so I'm just trying to think uh, what else it was that I, what I wanted to show you. I think that's it. I think that's it. So it was the DPI settings and yeah, like if I spent probably a good number of days just pl playing around with this and experimenting with the settings and I have to say this is probably the best, um, the optimal settings for this particular laptop on FreeBSD at the moment. Um, things might change, somebody might find a, a better way to do it or might be able to tell me if I've, I've missed something. but. Uh, I have outstanding performance. If I just show you, um, let's see. Um, I don't know if you'll see this on the screencast either, but um, no screen tearing, even full screen, no screen tearing. Uh, just It just runs really well. So that's it. Um, graphics are great. And I, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to to go through on this laptop, so um, if I if I think of anything, I will um, I'll make it. I did try the fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader is a no go; doesn't work. Um, so that's out. But everything else has been uh, has been pretty much confirmed. It's all working. It's great. So that's it, guys. Thanks.